from our Takoyaki Cafe. Located in between Guam Reef and Weston Hotel in Tumon, call them today at 648-TAMA. Hoppa Day Guam, welcome to another episode of In The Mix. I'm Jonah Gancharfras, thanks so much for tuning in. We have a great show lined up for you this evening. Coming up, we make our way over to Tumon and check out Hoffaloa. Then later, we travel on down to Agate for Marina Grill. And we close up the show tonight with the music from Ben Langauta and Friends. But first, on Saturday, March 5th, the Edward M. Cavill Cancer Foundation presents the 6th Annual Guam is Good Wine, Food, and Art Festival. Here's more. The Edward M. Cavill Cancer Foundation is a local nonprofit foundation relying solely on the generosity of the community to help those battling this devastating disease. Since its inception in 2004, its mission has always been to assist those battling cancer. My family formed the, uh, the Edward M. Cavill Cancer Foundation in 2004 after my grandfather passed away from cancer. Um, since then, we've given over a million dollars in um, financial grants to local cancer patients. In addition to providing assistance to those in our local community, the foundation has offered therapeutic services to include cancer symposiums, art therapy, and support groups, to name a few. And helping in continuing that crucial assistance is the 6th Annual Guam is Good Wine, Food and Art Festival. The festival will be held on Saturday, March 5th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the Cars Plus showroom in Mighty. Event chairperson Jennifer Calvo Kirigua says it's a festival that has continued to grow. We started out uh, organizing the event as the wine tasting and art show. Um, after the first two years, it grew very quickly. Um, we had a lot of restaurants that participated and really put a lot into their, um, their presentation, so we decided to, to change the name of the event to the Wine, Food and Art Festival. Indeed, the event is one the community looks forward to every year and brings out the best in our island. It is truly unlike any other wine tasting event. According to Eli Monge, culinary contributors step up their game every year, offering up a bevy of sweet and savory local bites not offered at the restaurants. And what we noticed in the last couple of years is not just the food. I mean, they're be putting up beautiful displays and the way they're presenting the food. And I, I love it because they take pride um, on what they're presenting uh, for an amazing cause. Those in attendance will enjoy delectable creations from Mescla Fusion Bistro, Proa, Cup and Saucer. Pika's Cafe will be serving up Escabeche Kale, beer battered cheese curds with curry aioli, and local style Pika eggplant with coconut milk. The Guam Barbecue Company will be offering porchetta, and new contributor 9th Street Rotary will be treating guests to a unique take on soft-served ice cream. There will also be a slew of Chamorro delicacies from the Cepeda family. Every single restaurant has um, about two to three dishes, and every single dish is paired up with a certain wine. And what we do is we give away little cards that explains what you're going to be able to taste in that little journey on um, pairing up your food and your wine. He adds that the food culture on Guam has cultivated and continues to elevate. In the last couple of years, uh, not just the food, uh, the culture on Guam has grown uh, with the restaurants, also the farm to table. Um, a lot of the farmers are working uh, hand in hand with the restaurants and the restaurants that we chose in the last few years to work with, they do that. Um, and a lot of the, uh, the herbs and the vegetables are all fresh and they locally grown and, and, and it brings a different type of texture and taste that people don't get to taste. I mean, the, the, the kale and the lettuce here does not taste the same, you know, in the States. And what goes great with awesome food? Awesome wine. Midpack and at Island Wines, um, the wine lineup has grown tremendously. I mean, we have wines from Spain, wines from New Zealand, wines from California, wines from Washington. Um, so we have a vast uh, 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 growth of different wines that are coming in. And it's an amazing ambiance from live entertainment, a silent auction full of great items, food, wine, and art auction. Oh, we can't forget the artwork created by an eclectic mix of guest artists like Senator Mary Torres, Guam Young Professional of the Year Leslie Leon Guerrero, Marvin Menabusen of Crowns Guam, and creatives like Fawn Tuncap, Mark Muir, and Nina Peck, to name a few. The main feature of the Wine, Food, and Art Festival is um, artwork that is created by local um, politicians, dignitaries, business people, and local artists, um, which represents their interpretation of our foundation slogan, which is Guam is good. Um, that, those were some of my grandfather's last words before he passed away from cancer in 2004. So 
um, every year the event is a little bit different because there's some uniformity in the theme, which is Guam is good, but everyone has their own interpretation of the slogan, so it's allowed us to continue the event with a, you know, a different selection of artwork every year. Monge invites everyone to stop by and enjoy an evening full of good company, good food, good wine, good art, and all for a great cause. Come, have a good time, uh, try good foods from all over uh, Guam. And have fun, uh, bring a lot of money because there's a lot of good art artists out there. Um, even people that never were able to paint before, um, they put their heart and soul into it. So bring a lot of cash, bring your credit card, uh, and if you don't have cash, I'll drive to the ATM. It's okay with me. Tickets are $100 and includes a commemorative wine glass. It can be purchased at the Edward M. Cavill Cancer Foundation office in Haganya, right above Cup and Saucer, or at the Cars Plus showroom in Mighty. We're so grateful for all the sponsors, and we're grateful for that uh, everyone on Guam has supported the EMC Foundation. Um, it, it's a fight that we're going to continue doing. We started this about uh, 11 years ago, um, started the wine and the 5K and um, everything else we've been doing. And we want to thank everyone because uh, it, it, it's a real bad disease, and there's no cure for it now. But what we're trying to do is make sure that the families are comfortable and that they're not alone when it comes to this fight. Don't go anywhere because when we return, we make our way over to Tumon and check out Hafaloa. You're watching In The Mix.